Greetings friend, I will show you how to solve rotational flow by Keenlux by putting marks in the grid. Click on the link below if you want to try this puzzle yourself. And with that, it's solving time. This is supposed to be a difficult puzzle. Keenlux said it's difficult, but he's really proud of it. So I want to see what happens here. And I know with a Keenlux puzzle, you need to look around the edges and look for some clues, maybe some breadcrumbs on how to solve this. And what I'm noticing is there's a lot of digits here, a lot of digits here. And then a lot of digits across like these rows here. And so I think it has something to do with it. And it seems like there's not that many ones or twos. Uh, let me ask you one one. I don't really see any twos. So there's something going to be going on there. I am going to focus on these three cells, right? There's a naked triple going on here. So what is those cells? They're going to be a uh, one, two, four, right? Okay, and I can go here and here and one, two, four. Same thing right here, because it's also in the same rows, rows three, five, and seven. That's goofy. A one, two, and a three. All right, and I can select both of those, one, two, and three. So they're only missing, they're only off by one digit of four. Now, now I notice there's a lot of digits here in row three and row seven. What's missing here? This is a one, two, three, Four nine, so yeah, one two three four nine. Nothing really there. All right, I see a three four nine in column six, so that's just a one two, and one two three four nine, one two three four nine. Okay. All right, there's something here. One two four, one two one two three. So there's three. There's four different digits. One two three and four and three cells. Huh, that, that's the beginnings of uh, an almost locked set. It seems like, you know, these, since these are in the same three rows, there might be something going on. So let's let's check across row five here. Uh, I feel like I'm onto something. Uh, okay, what are we missing here? One, two, four, seven. I don't think that's helping us much. And what do we got here? One, two, six, seven, uh, one, two, six, seven. Okay. One, two, five, eight. One, two, five, eight. And one, two, five. Oh, where did I get the five from? Five's right there. There's a five right there. I'm sorry. Uh, one, two, six, eight. One, two, six eight and i uh, got a one actually two can't do a three four five can we do a six uh this can't be a seven or an eight can't be a nine okay huh the one two eight one two four and one two three not quite what i'm looking for there all right let's go across row seven here what are we missing we're missing a one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I see a three, four, five. One, two. Okay, that's interesting. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm getting rid of that one. Okay, uh, there is, yes, yes. This is something I've been studying, and I see it. I'm going to highlight these guys. That, these cells are related. Okay, when you see three cells like this with four candidates, that's called an almost lock set. So like one, two, three, and four, right? If we get rid of the three, that's, that'd be a one, two, four. If you get rid of the four, it'd be a one, two, three. Okay. And then down here, it's the same thing. One, two, three, and four. Four cells, three, four candidates, three cells. And you'll notice these fours are in the same column, and these threes are in the same column. So... Here's what we know. We can make some eliminations. This is good. And one, I can eliminate that one right there because there's a one right here. Okay. Four has to be in one of these spots. Three has to be in one of those two spots. We're going to be able to eliminate the threes here and the fours here, and I'll show you why. Basically, the way these work is like these fours are like a pivot, and these threes are like a pivot. And we know that across row three in those blue cells, you got to have a one and a two, and then the other one's got to be either a three or a four. 
Down here, you need a one and two and either three or four. And the four can be either here or here. The three is then going to be here or here, kind of like an X-wing, uh, with the threes on one side and the fours on the other. You can't have a four or three in any other in that in this middle cell. And I'll show you. Let's let's put a four right here and see what happens. You put a four right there, then this would become a one, two, that'd become a one, two, and this would become a three. This is a three, that's a two, this would be a one. And since this is a four, that's a one, two, that's a one, two, and that's a one. So you'd put a two here, and you'd have nothing to put right there. So that would break the puzzle. All right, let's undo that. Likewise, we can't put a three here. Why can't we put a three here? You put a three here, then this would be a one, two, and a one, two. So you'd have a one, two, one, two, you have a four right there. And then this would be a one, two, and a one, two. And you have to put a four right there. You can't do it. You break the puzzle again, right? You'd have two fours, bad. So we can eliminate the four. I already said I could eliminate this one. I accidentally added it. We can eliminate the three right here. This is a two. And we can eliminate the four from right there. So that's how it works. All right? Because it's all, And hopefully you can see that logic, right? A four's got to be in one of those two spots. So you can eliminate four from right there. Three has to be in one of those two spots. Because otherwise, you still don't have enough digits to create this. The other thing you probably notice is the one and twos are limited to those blue as well. So you can eliminate the ones and the twos from right there. And you can eliminate... The one and two from right there and then the same thing down here uh the one and two is limited to that spot and that spot so you can get rid of this two and you can get rid of that one two so these uh these the fours and the threes they're called restricted candidates because they're restricted to, into a spot where they just see each other and then these other candidates you know th those are the like the i think it's called restricted common candidate and these are just common candidates. The ones and twos are called common candidates. I promise I will come out with almost lock set tutorial. I have not seen any good tutorials almost lock sets on YouTube. So I'm going to make one because I'm studying these. And these are really awesome, awesome find. They're very powerful and they're hard. Uh, you know, this is this is advanced logic, uh, probably even above the alternate inference chain. Uh, Sudoku Swami said he was going to make one of these in his advanced series. And he hasn't uh, made that yet he kind of is on hold with his channel i hope he does come back because i think he'd be very good at showing these and i think the you the uh youtube sudoku world needs to see some of this okay so I'm, i saw this for a two now i can solve that for a one and i can solve this for an eight thanks for listening to my rambling and since now i saw that for an eight i can get rid of that eight um and so king Lux, i think i got i got one of your big clues here right i got one of your big clues for this puzzle rotational flow i like the rotating how it comes across like that that's some cool stuff i love it i love it so let's go to the highlight let's delete the highlights there let's go back to normal very cool it had to be the reason why you put it in like that it had to be all right so let's get rid of this one let's get rid of this one and let's move on to puzzle i feel so much better now about this uh okay we know the four is going to be one of those spots and we know the three is still going to be one of those we can get rid of the two here and we can get rid of the two here okay okay and let's see where else we can go okay the two and the one are now out of these spots and they're also out of this spot so that's got to be a six that's got to be a seven that's got to be a four and what's left a three okay great all right i just solved the four right there so that can't be a four and Let's see, one, two, one, three, two, four, three, nine, three, four, nine. I'm looking. Uh, that can't be a three anymore. And okay, I'm trying to see if there's something else easy here. Uh, what is the marking? All right, because I made a lot of good. All right, so let's go here. I see an eight, 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 and I think that was probably at the beginning of the puzzle. I didn't. Really check for that because I was too busy making all these other great deductions. Yeah. Okay. Six and a six. So there's a six in one of those two spots. I'll mark that. And I'm going to do start using some Snyder notation now because I, I think that was kind of like the big, you know, the one trick, the big thing that's going to 
really open this puzzle up. Okay, threes, eights, four, four, two spots for four here. Let's do that. All right. Um, six, six. Okay, I see a six and six. This has to be a six. All right. Two spots for six there. Cool. And let's look what's remaining here. One, two, and a nine. So one, oops. One, two, nine. And one, two, nine. All right. It's still a lot to ones and twos to figure out, which is fine. Okay. Got the sixes there. Anything I can do with the six? No, three sixes there. Okay. Uh, sevens. What do I got going with sevens? Um, oh, I got a pointy pair of sevens. That's always helpful. So a pointy pair of sevens. Okay. And then I got a pointy pair of sevens here. There's a seven right there. Okay, great. Nines. Nine, nine. I got two nines limited to this, these two spots. And other nines. I got a nine here. Nine in these three spots. I'm not going to mark that. And nine in those three spots. I'm not going to mark that. All right. Uh, what else can I see? Fives. Fives. Uh, fives are in those three spots. I'm not going to mark that. Okay. And five, five. Yeah, five in those three spots. I'm not going to mark that just yet. All right. Okay, okay. Moving on here. Uh, eight. Okay, I see something. Eight and eight. There's a one, two right there. That has to be an eight. And then because it's eight right here, this has to be an eight. All right. And eight, 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 eight. Three eights there. Three eights. I think I got all the eights. Sweet. That's nice. All right. And we'll make some restrictions now in this area. What do we got? One, two, four, nine. Yeah, no, no really further research. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so now I'm going to look at, you know, the cells. And I'm going to look at the houses that have, you know, uh, seven, uh, eight, seven, six, five. Most of the, most of the cans filled in. I can see there's only two threes right there. So I can mark that. And, huh, okay. So let's look at, like, right here. We're missing a six, seven, and nine. Anything playing at? Oh, the seven's playing in that, so that's a six nine. So I can mark that, and I can mark this for a six seven nine. So now I'm going to kind of get away from the Snyder part and do more of a uh, full cell notation talk. So as I look for some more advanced strategies, so I will now put in this one two four nine. Okay. Um, in here, what do you get? A one two five nine. Okay. So I got a five right there, so that's a one, two, nine. All right, and you got a one right here, so this is this one would be two five, and this would be oh two five nine, two five nine, and that'd be a two five. Okay, and I'm curious here one two six seven nine cutting across. So we got a one and nine array, so two, six, seven. Okay. Now I'm I'm peeling around, and I must make sure those are ones right there. That helps me to see the ones. I got. All right, I do see a skyscraper, and I'll highlight that. I like finding skyscrapers. Okay, look at the can at ones right there. Boom, and we'll. To make the colors easier, I'll make those tops yellow. Okay, I've done a tutorial recently about skyscrapers. Uh, and so I'll put a link to that skyscraper tutorial right there. But basically, either this is a one. If that's not a one. That has to be one. This can't be a one. And that'd be a one. So either one's here or one's there. We can limit any one from uh, any cell that sees both these orange ones. All right? Or yellow, whenever you see it. So that can't be a one. Once you get rid of that one, that leaves that as a 2 9. Okay, that's helpful. And then this right here can't be a 1. So what would that make that? Uh, a 2 and a 5. Right? So this can't be a 1 anymore. So that'd be a 2 and a 5. That's a 2 and a 5. So this is actually going to become your 1 now. All right, so let's get rid of the coloring. This is good. 
Go back there. Now that's one. All right, we're gonna make some more progress. That's a three. That's a one. That's a two. That's a four. That's a two. Okay. And now you got this three. So that's a nine. That's your four. Sweet. Good. Good. I love it. All right. And what else do we solve by doing all that? We got some twos on the board. Uh, we fit out some nice areas here. See this four, four, and the two fours are row seven, nine. So that's a four. And since I made these Snyder marks, I know I can solve that immediately for a six. And now I, I put in these four, so that's got to be your five. That's going to be your three. So you see how we kind of did columns one and nine and rows three and seven where we started? It's kind of like the framework for this whole puzzle. Very nice. Okay, he's looking right here. I see a three right there, so no, that's got to be a three, and that's got to be a two. And we're, we're going to be looking for lots of twos. Six, nine, six, nine. There's a six, so this is your nine, and that's your six. Okay, we can get rid of the sixes here. And it creates a seven, nine naked pair, and this would be a one, two. Uh, I'll mark them. Going to help us solve later. Okay, uh, seven, nine. Let's look here. Two, five, two, oh, I got the two right there. So, hey, I already know I can solve that for a five. That for a two. We can get rid of all these twos now. And you got one, nine, one, nine. So, I know that's going to be your five. Great. And one, nine, one, nine. So, now that's a seven. That's your nine. Uh, and again, I always love, I got the seven. I got the six. It's going to be a two. I love it when I'm able to take advantage of the Snyder marks and then fill in the rest of the grid. I got my three right here. So, I know that's a three. And that's a one. Huh. Okay, and then right here we got a five. All right, what are we looking for here? We need a one and a two. There's your two. There's your two. And there's your one. All right, one, two, three, four, five. We're looking for six, seven. There's only one six left, so that's got to be your six. That's got to be your seven and a seven and a seven. I know that's going to be your seven. Okay, after the seven, um, I'm not sure why I put nines there. I ain't right. Let's give her the seven while we're at it. Nine, nine. Okay, I got my one down here. So this is a nine. That's a one. Here's your nine right there. Uh, what do we got left here? We got the one, the nine. So this is a two, four. So let's get rid of the one, nine. Two, four, one, two. Okay, what do we got here? This is the full house, so if we can solve this full house with a four, that should disambiguate those. And disambiguate those. One, two. And what do we have left here? We're missing the three. And our last digit is a one. Outstanding. Check out these other cool videos from my channel. If you want to see more cool solving like this, I want to give a big shout out to M for donating to my Buy Me a Coffee page. The first supporter i really appreciate it. i can make make more videos like this bring more resources to you i thank you so much m i hope you're the first but i really hope you're not the last uh thank you also keen lux for letting me feature your puzzles on this channel you're awesome i love it and i love what you're doing for sudoku and i love the way you challenge people thank you so much for watching